hello friends once your item price and price list is maintained uh, as per the data given in this table we are ready to start a selling cycle so let me again reconfirm that you have prepared two price list one for platinum with prices for seven items and second is the gold with the prices for same seven items now to start a selling cycle obviously we need a customer to whom we are going to sell so customer we already defined now selling cycle can start directly from the sales order and we can go ahead with the delivery note where we deliver the item sales invoice is like sending a bill and payment entry sometime it happens that customers ask you a quotation and you give the quotation to the customers customer accept the quotation and then you prepare a sales order or it might start from an opportunity where we see an opportunity to sell something to a customer that opportunity get converted into a quotation and when the quotation get converted into sales order and so on and so forth so we will start we will take a full cycle from opportunity to quotation to sales order to delivery note sales invoice and payment entry this table here gives you the detail details required for executing this sales cycle so we will start the opportunity first so we can go to the crm and in crm we have a lead or opportunity here alternately you can type opportunity here and you'll get opportunity list we'll start from crm here opportunity it will be blank because the first opportunity we are creating so this opportunity is to be created for customer 01 so click on new opportunity it's opportunity from customer let's say customer has inquired us and that customer is customer 01 and just click save so what happens whenever this customer calls up we can follow up with him that yeah you inquired something about us, uh, buying something from us if customer is keen i will say okay send me the quotation for a particular item let's say in our case the customer needs product pd two numbers so that's the next step in our selling cycle that is opportunity to quotation so this module will allow you to prepare a quotation directly from here so we are in the opportunity create quotation because the process knows the next step that's a quotation so once i click quotation what will happen the entries which were made in opportunity they get carry forward like customer and customer 01 the additional data that is which for which item the quotation is required that is to be entered so we required product pd two numbers so in the item add a row for product pd quantity two numbers the rate has to be fetched automatically and remember this customer is a platinum customer so go to the price list here and at the price list you select platinum so once you select a price list of platinum that price will get reflected here also we want to ensure that the tax has been applied onto net total and this customer has asked some some discount so and we are ready to give them a discount of 20% so this information need to be put inside the quotation so let's put this tax detail tax applicable on net total and discount is also on net total so for that click here and ensure that the item code and everything is right and in the quantity we have two numbers everything is right here correct no issue discount and margin check here so uh, the discount is in percentage no but will not enter discount here let's enter the discount uh, in the main form so just don't do anything right now here just click here and on the tax category no tax sales and tax charge template no yeah additional discount and coupon so here we are saying the uh, discount percentage is 20% 
and this discount should be applicable on net total not on grand total so now you can see the discount will be applied here around 3360 rupees on net total and the taxes are to be on net total that's what we just want to confirm it's taxes on net total so that i confirm in the tax sales tax and charge table here by going to this triangle so by default it will be on net total only but still we want to just confirm it so with that our quotation is ready so we can save this quotation It will be saved in draft and once everything is okay, we can submit. Yes. So our quotation has been submitted. Now uh, we are ready with creating a sales order. Now this is the final commitment which we are going to, uh, we are getting from the customer. So we need to be uh, sure that all the entries are clear in the quotation itself. If not, we can modify that in sales order. So let's create a sales order. Now since from the quotation, the next stage is sales order. So it show you sales order. So click on sales order here. Create sales order. So all the details what we have mentioned in opportunity and in quotation will be carried forward into the sales order. You can check that. So not much uh, change is required as far as sales order is concerned unless the client has asked you to change the quantity or something. Or some other information that you can always update here but right now we'll keep it same so just click save uh, delivery date okay so it's asking you and what date you are going to deliver this item so let's say delivery date will be let's keep it today's date that's 19 november date and it's save now hopefully yeah it's received as a draft let's click submit and yes so now my sales order has been saved now my next step is to create a delivery note but now remember till the sales order everything was on paper we have not touched any of our bank accounts uh, balance or any of our stock items from the delivery note when we say we have prepared a delivery note is is the indication that physically the item has moved out of our premises that means stock has been reduced so now we are going to touch the financial accounts so for that uh, some amount of uh, account setting is required so what we'll do we'll go to the company account setting and round off account we are going to put round off because we have given a 20 percent uh, discount which might result into uh, some decimal places and that anyway client is not going to pay those decimal uh, values so that will be including a round off account so for that go to the company list click on company locate a area called account setting which will be somewhere yes down here account setting you can check here in the account setting in the round off account put round off which is one of the chart of account here and uh, just click save so our account setting for the ac accounting is ready for the round off issue so we are ready to go ahead with the step 4 of delivery note ok so let me refresh it it's going to reload it everything now uh, till as I told you uh, till this stage account or bank account or stock has not been touched so there should not be any change in that uh, so you can confirm that with the accounting go to the balance sheet you should see the same values what you got after the stock entry and opening account entry and there will be no entry as far as PL is concerned. Yeah, it's blank. So remember, last step was our sales order. So I can search a sales order directly from here. Sales order list. 
is a sales order and it shows the status to deliver. So how it's going to help us in CRM, customer relationship management, if this customer zero and calls up to anybody in the company, uh, the person can check what happens to customer zero one and it shows that one particular order is pending for delivery. So we'll proceed with the delivery of this sales order. Click on here. So it's open a sales order. From here you can create a delivery. Sometime directly we can put a bill to customer for advance payment and a lot of other options. But right now we'll go with the delivery of the items. So we'll click on delivery. So again all the details from the quotation, sales order and opportunity will be carried forward for the delivery note. Yeah, so new delivery note has been created. In the delivery note, again, a small change is required in terms of the from which warehouse the item to be um, taken out and where the expenses of delivering items uh, should be accounted. So we are saying uh, the pick up the item from the finished goods stores and the expense account is going to be cost of goods sold. So let's declare this here. So I'll say uh, source warehouse is going to be a finished goods store. <coughs> And uh, for the expense account, I'm going to click here in this, uh, scroll down and you will see uh, accounting detail. So expense account put here cost of goods sold. Uh, there is no save button here. You can just simply click on this button here. Let me save the entry there. Uh, with that, everything is ready now for the delivery note to be dispatched. So click on save. The hard copy of this delivery note will be attached along with the item so that item can go out of the premises. So physically, the item has moved out of the company. Accordingly, there should be some impact onto the financial statement. Let's see what impact it had. So I'll go to accounting, I will go to balance sheet and in the balance sheet you can see now the stock in hand has been reduced, uh, there is the problem of profit and loss 11,200 why? Because the material has been given but we have not received any amount from the client so that's why it has counted as a loss. So if you are not able to recover the payment it is going to consider as a loss. At the same time, uh, let's go to PNL. In the PNL, uh, we have only one entry. That's a cost of goods sold of eleven thousand two hundred rupees. There's no income. That's why it shows as a loss. That's a red color figure. So let's go back to our last step. That was delivery note. What we have prepared. So open the delivery note. It says, okay, the material has been delivered. Now the status is to bill. So let's create a invoice. That's a bill. So create a sales invoice. And for the sales invoice, not additional, no any additional data is required. So sales invoice will prepare and just click save after opening a sales invoice and submit. So with this, the income will be accounted in your PL. And balance sheet. Check that by going to the accounting. Check the PL first. So we'll see that okay, it has not refreshed. So let me click refresh button here. Shows now income of 13,440 rupees. Again, that the cost of goods sold was 11,200 rupees, and the difference is your profit for that year. Similarly, in my balance sheet also, the impact would have come. Let me refresh it. So, in the balance sheet, I can see now the duties and taxes have came because I have earned something. The profit has came and most importantly, the shield has given me a 10 lakh rupees. But today, my company's balance sheet shows 10 lakh 4000. This 4000 came because of the additional profit what we have incurred. So now uh, let's go ahead and collect the money because still my bank account shows 4,90,800 rupees which was at the start 
uh, or at the end of the opening entries. So I will go to the invoice. That was my last entry what I made. So sales invoice. It's unpaid. So let's collect the payment. So open the sales invoice, create payment. And for the payment, we need check number. That's, let's put this number and the payment date. So it will be entered in the transaction here. 999901. And let's select today's date and close this payment entry. Submit and save. So with this, this selling cycle has been closed. So let's see the final impact onto the PNL and balance sheet. Uh, my PNL shows me a profit of 2,239 rupees, and my balance sheet shows me total balance as 10 lakh 4,000 balance sheet size, along with this 2,239. Uh, though I earn a profit of 2 lakh 2,239, but still my valuation has my balance sheet is, has gone up by 4,000 because some amount I owe to the government that's 1,209 rupees CGST and 1,209 rupees as SGST. So this is how the selling cycle will impact the balance sheet and PNL. The last item remaining is to close an opportunity what we have started. So because, so for that go to the CRM opportunity and click on the open opportunity and you can simply uh, go here and uh, declare it as a closed. Uh, it shows the status, sales stage, prospecting, no. Uh, we can say here it's closed, I don't know, so I don't think it's option available, no it's not available. Mm -hmm. Follow up. Mm. Mm, there should be some options to close this one. It doesn't show any options. Menu. No. Create. No. Opportunity of account, no follow up, no, it's not there. Okay, anyway, in the earlier version, there was an option called close, it's not showing here. Oh, yeah, it's there. Status, uh, we have to say closed. So, in the status here, we have to say it's closed. So, click on save, and that's how we have closed the selling cycle. Uh, I would request you to practice one or two more selling cycles and keep observing the impact onto the accounts. Thank you very much.